Well, hello, I'm Dr. Steven Cianti. I'm the director of the Cianti Prostate Center. And today I want to talk to you about prostate ablation for prostate cancer. So what is prostate ablation? Prostate ablation is using energy, whether it's ultrasound or freezing or laser, to target the prostate to treat prostate cancer. It's a non-invasive treatment that has really changed how we think about treating this disease. The advantage to prostate ablation is that we can treat as much or as little of the prostate as necessary and preserve both urinary and sexual function. I wanna to talk to you a little bit today about my journey in the prostate ablation world. I've been a urologist now since 1990. In 2001, I realized that we needed an alternative to radical prostatectomy or radiation therapy for treatment of our prostate cancer patients because in many men, the treatment was truly worse than the disease. We were causing so much side effects related to quality of life, both urinary and sexual domains, that I began to realize there needed to be a better way. Technology really came to the rescue, slowly, but now today that's really in place. I did my first prostate cryotherapy procedure well over 20 years ago, and so prostate cryotherapy or freezing was the first technique that we utilized. But cryotherapy was very young in those days, in the area around 2000, 2001. We still didn't have MRI capabilities. But as time went on and technology improved, the ability to deliver energy to the prostate and know where the tumor is vastly improved. In 2005, I was introduced to high intensity focused ultrasound or HIFU. And I immediately realized that in selected patients, HIFU would offer an ability to deliver even more precisely targeted treatment to the prostate. Now, since 2005, I've pioneered many of the advances in HIFU technology and have had the opportunity to treat over 3,000 patients with HIFU, literally over 10,000 hours behind the HIFU console screen. That experience has taught me in a properly, carefully done, very technologically advanced manner using MRI to guide the treatment, I can achieve for my patients excellent cancer control with excellent ability to preserve both sexual and urinary function. But that has taken years and years to develop. Tulsa is the newest kid on the block. This technology has been out in the United States about three years, but I've been able to apply the experience gained through cryotherapy, HIFU, now to Tulsa technology. And in selected patients, Tulsa is a great option for targeted therapy for prostate cancer. So 20 years ago, when I began offering prostate cancer ablation treatment to my patients, it was really considered to be outside of the mainstream. Today, that's different. Many major academic centers, as well as private urology practices, are beginning to offer HIFU to their prostate cancer patients. The learning curve, however, is steep. The technology requires significant experience and practice, and really to get the kind of results that we're able to achieve, it really does take hundreds of procedures. You know, I often think back to another uh, situation where that experience really paid off uh, for people. If you think back to that flight, that airplane that took off from an airport in New York, and ended up landing on the Hudson River. Do you remember that? That was Captain Sullenberger. It was a US Air flight. It left LaGuardia. There was a bird strike at 3,000 feet. He lost both engines. And the plane was able to successfully just clear the George Washington Bridge and land in the Hudson River on a cold day in January. Miraculously, everybody survived. Interestingly, when they tried to recreate that in a flight simulator, it took 
17 or 18 attempts before other pilots could successfully land that plane on the simulator. Why was Captain Sully able to do that? Well, he was at the peak of his career. He had had thousands and thousands and thousands of hours behind that console in the, in the jet, behind in that cockpit. He was able to rely on years and years and years of experience in order to get that plane to safely land. Complex medical procedures really aren't any different today. We're using significant and very complex technology. We can't learn this in a weekend. We can't get mastery of these skills in a couple of months or even a year or two. It takes years, it takes hours behind the console to reach that expertise. In order to get excellent outcomes from cancer control and perform the procedure with excellent preservation of urinary and sexual function, it just takes careful attention to detail, application of all available technology, it takes using the MRI to precisely both diagnose the cancer and then guide the treatment and then boost the energy doses to the targeted tissues. That's what I've learned over all these years. So it's gratifying and rewarding to see that there's much more acceptance of this technology around the United States today. However, my caution to you as a patient is that you have to be very careful with new technology and even very well-known universities offering these techniques. Usually the urologist offering that is doing many, many things for prostate cancer as well as practicing a lot of general urology. They're really not devoted specialists to these techniques. And in a training center, unfortunately, the mission in a training center is to train our young doctors. Now, I was there at one point when I was on the faculty at NYU. One of our requirements, one of the goals of an educational institution is to train the young doctors. However, if you're the patient, you want to be treated by the most experienced physician you can find, and you want that doctor to perform your procedure. At the Cianti Prostate Center, I am your doctor. I design your treatment. I have a personalized discussion with you to plan your treatment in detail. And then I'm the one that will perform your treatment, not an assistant, not a trainee, and not a student. So why choose the Cianti Prostate Center? You're gonna choose me to be your doctor for treatment of your prostate cancer because I've got more experience with these ablative technologies particularly with HIFU, with over 10,000 hours behind the console of that HIFU machine. So experience matters. I'm going to use the most up-to-date technology to do your procedure. I'm going to use MRI mapping. I'm gonna modulate the energy. I'm gonna carefully design the treatment based on your particular cancer statistics based on the location of your tumor, based on the MRI findings, and based on your preferences in terms of preserving urinary, sexual, and even including sometimes ejaculatory function when that's important. At our center, you are not just a patient on an assembly line. This is private medicine. We have a concierge program. You're our private patient and you get my full attention. So if you've got prostate cancer, you're thinking about using an advanced technology to treat your cancer, such as HIFU or TELSA, or even MRI-guided cryotherapy, give us a call. My pledge to you as a patient is that you will get my personalized and undivided attention, and that I will personally be designing your treatment with you providing a pathway to give you the best chances to treat your cancer and maintain your quality of life. Thanks for listening today.